food. We're always so hungry. Phew, what a climb. Oh, I'm a raccoon. My name is Randy, and that's brother Wilbur. Uh, hello. Now cut that out. You can tell we're raccoons by the black masks around our eyes and the rings on our tails. We love to kiss, but right now we're hungry again. We're not too particular about what we eat, so long as it tastes real good. Mmm, we can dig up all sorts of delicious things with our claws. Hey, Wilbur, look what I found. An old rotten tree. I bet there's around here. Now, if I could, whoop, just get up here, I'll be able to dig out these insects. Mmm, what's this is? Ha! Wilbur's found himself an old bird's nest to clean out. Of course, this isn't where we usually hunt for food. Our favorite hunting ground is the brook which runs near our home. When we were very little, our mother taught us how to catch frogs and crayfish, and now we're very good at it. See, we don't need fishing rods to catch our fish. We just go after them with our paws. This kind of hunting keeps our paws nice and clean. Ah, there's my favorite food, a frog. Now, if I'm real careful, I'll... Hey, stand still a minute. How am I going to catch you if you keep hopping away? Say, Wilbur, give me a hand, will you? I'm coming, Randy. Wilbur, look what's coming along now, a turtle. Oh, my Wilbur never could control his curiosity. Hey, don't go away now. I'm just beginning to learn about you. Come back here. Now, let's see. How do I get inside this? Uh-oh, I just know something dreadful's gonna happen. There, I knew it. Wilbur's got his nose bitten. Well, I've never been so insulted in my whole life. The nerve of some animals can't let a self-respecting turtle alone. Really. Well, what shall we do now? Say, look, there's Farmer Brown's house. That's Tommy and Jane Brown playing outside. They're friends of ours, you know. Don't they play silly games, though? <laughs> I bet they can't catch fish the way we do. People just aren't very smart, I guess. Wilbur, I see some berry bushes. Let's get some berries. My, don't they look delicious? You know, some people say that we look like little bears with long tails. Do you, whoop, whoop, do you think we look like little bears with long tails? Look, Wilbur, where do you suppose Tommy and Jane are going? What is that Tommy's carrying? Let's follow them. Why, they're going to have a picnic. You think they might invite us to join them if we promise not to eat too much? Ah, Tommy has seen it. He's asking her. Well, come on, Slowpoke, let's go. Some people say that raccoons make cute pets, but they don't let us in their house because we get into so much mischief. Well, can we help it if we're curious about everything? Don't know what this is, but it tastes pretty good. Now, what's in here? Hey, put me down, Tommy. I want to eat, not play. Mmm, this is delicious, but I'm getting awfully full. I don't think I can take another bite, thank you. Come along, Wilbur. We still have many things to do today. 
We like Tommy and Jane because they're kind to us. They feed us and pet us. Goodbye. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Mr. Woodchuck, you scared me half to death. Calm down, calm down. No need to get so excited. I'm not going to hurt you. I only wanted to be friendly. You raccoons always nosing around where you don't belong. Go away, go away, go away. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, all right. Say, look, the Browns are going away. Do you suppose we might? Why not? There's no one home. Come on, Randy, this is our chance to see how people live. I wonder how we can get inside. Ooh, look, a window, and it's open. I don't know about you, but I couldn't squeeze through that small opening. All right, then let's open it wider. Here, let me help you. Look, great help you are. Well, let's try again. Look, Wilbur. Hmm. Now, how are we going to work this? Look, look, I'm getting in. Well, if you can do it, I guess I can too. There. So this is the kind of house people live in. Let's look around. <laughs> What's in here? Boy, this doesn't look much like a frog, but it tastes even better. Wilbur, you know we're being awfully naughty coming in here like this. Oh, stop worrying. Nobody will ever know. Besides, there's so many interesting things to see and do in here. I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, if you think it's all right, let's see what's in this funny-looking box. I wonder what this is. Maybe it's a nut. Doesn't taste like a nut. Randy, look. This must be a bird's nest. There are eggs in it. Funniest bird's nest I ever saw. It's a good thing I can hold things with my paws. Most animals can't, you know. Wonder what this is. Next to frogs, I love eggs best. Now, how can I open this? There must be some way to get into it. Hey, Randy. Oh, you frightened me. Now look what you've done. Let me have it. Now give it to me. I found it first. Well, I have my share. Oh, yeah, well, so have I, I think. Look what I found. Great. Uh-oh, look who's coming back. <laughs> oh, look, Wilbur and Randy, the little rascals. They shouldn't have come into our house without being invited. But let's tiptoe quietly so that we won't frighten them. Wilbur, do you see what I see? Let's get out of here, quick. No, wait. You two have been very naughty coming in here like this. Houses are for people, not for raccoons. If you want to be our friends, you must promise never to come in here and do mischief again. We're sorry, Tommy and Jane. We'll never do it again, honestly. Let's go, Wilbur. That was fun, but we must never again go where we don't belong. How's it for people, not for raccoons? Well, these trees are for raccoons and not for people. I guess this is where we really belong, isn't it, Wilbur? I guess it is, Randy. My, it's good to be home. <laughs>